Do you crave destruction and mayhem, but you're just too lazy to leave your house? If you answered yes, this video is just for you, because you're special and deserve nice things. I'm Ricky with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 modern games with the most destruction. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. These games make causing devastation and property damage fun and totally legal. If we can see it and aim at it, we want it to burst into flames. Alright, let's blow shit up. Number 10. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege One of the reasons that Rainbow Six Siege remains so popular among online gamers is its clever division of players into two teams, Terrorist or Task Force, and a host of playable scenarios like defusing slash defending a life bomb and rescuing slash capturing a hostage. It also helps that much of the environment is destructible too, making doors and windows largely optional considering you can blow holes in both with explosives and take out enemies by surprise. Such creativity and freedom in deciding how to approach certain stages makes cooperation and communication with teammates a must and helps explain why servers are still active for this game almost four years after its release. Number 9. Crackdown 3 Keep hitting those containment tanks! Crackdown 3 definitely wasn't the explosive shot of adrenaline that the Xbox One needed, and the destruction physics, especially in the single player, didn't live up to the hype. Regardless, it is still cool to watch walls get blasted apart as shards and splinters of what used to be structures come crashing down amid the chaos. Sure, there isn't much weight to anything, and sure, it kinda looks like cardboard, but that's why it's only number 9. The destruction physics and effects work well enough, just not as well as we'd all hoped. Crusher destroyed. Number 8. Worms WMD. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Oh, this it's is some pro here. It didn't work though. Oh. Yes! What could possibly make the Worms franchise any better than it already was? Sure, it looks simple, but it's deceptively deep and allows for the complete destruction of not only the worms and their bases, but also the ground itself. So, if you create a big enough explosion, you could potentially erase a level's entire foundation, leaving nothing but empty space. That sounds awesome! Just skip the machine guns and bring on the nukes. We're not going to leave a single piece of dirt left standing. Or, you could go the non-destructive path and send worms flying with a baseball bat and Hey, wait a second. Why is Andrew coming at me with that bat? Right away, but... It's okay, this is gonna be a short game. That's Bye, Ricky. Sorry, Ricky. Number 7. Planetary Annihilation The title of this game alone is enough to grant its entry on this list, but the fact that you can destroy bases, vehicles, and enemies on a planet and then even blow up the freaking planet itself is something else altogether and a scale of destruction not even seen in top-down, real-time strategy games. As you may have guessed, this game's scope is massive and the aim is the total domination of the entire galaxy, so there's a lot of planets to blow up here. Also, an expansion pack for the game called Titans allows players to do all of this from the comfort of their own massive mech robot, bringing the chaos to a whole other level. And there goes orange. What the f Number 6. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator Surely watching thousands of soldiers clash head-to-head, -head, dying left and right, and leaving the battlefield strewn with bodies is destructive enough to land Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator on our list, but when you consider that you can simulate the same type of battle but with mod support, you could theoretically have hundreds of hulks versus thousands of Ironmans instead of legions of generic Roman soldiers. The level of destruction increases tenfold. Sure, it's not much of a game in the traditional sense, as it's more of a tool for creating kick-ass battles, but the thrill we got from pitting orcs, trolls, soldiers, and superheroes against one another, literally in a battle to the death, was very, very satisfying nonetheless. Number 7. 
Number five, Breach. Atomic Games' first-person tactical shooter was made for this list. We mean, the title itself literally means a hole in a wall or some other type of structure. So, it's no surprise that the marketing tagline behind this game was the world's most destructible battlefield, and most of its promotional material focused on explosions, destruction, and things falling apart. Seeing as anything you hide behind is destroyable, taking cover in this game is much more challenging than just camping out behind some indestructible barrier. Hell, not even the ground underneath your feet is safe from being wiped away. There's literally nowhere to hide in this one, and we love it. Number 4. Besiege Despite the fact that this game is still in early access, it's a huge hit on Steam where the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. The premise is simple enough. Build a medieval siege machine and lay waste to castles, towers, vehicles, and soldiers. It's the game's amazing physics system, however, that makes it truly memorable in the destruction genre of games out there. Explosions are so lifelike, destruction feels incredibly realistic, and there's basically no limit to the kind of wacky machines of ruin you're able to build en route to leveling everything in your sight. Creativity never felt so good. Number 3. Red Faction Guerrilla While the first two Red Faction games offered a lot of environmental destruction and helped introduce destructive environments in video games, it was Guerrilla that took the series to a new level of explosiveness. An open-world third-person shooter built on an incredibly realistic physics system where, basically, anything you see is destroyable. Even after almost a decade, the game's destruction physics are still a sight to behold, which is probably why it was remastered for current-gen consoles. There's little as satisfying in gaming as finding a bridge in Red Faction Guerrilla, targeting its support beams, and watching it fall to the ground all around you. Yay for chaos! Number 2. Battlefield 4 Let's put it this way, there's so much destruction and potential to alter the environment in Battlefield 4 that the game's developers came up with their own unique term to describe the fully interactive maps, Levolution. It's a clever pun hinting that the fourth entry in the Battlefield series is an evolution over other games in terms of leveling in-game structures. It's pretty hard to argue against the game's claim of moving destructible environments forward when you see an in-game skyscraper collapse right before your eyes. Wow, that looked so real it gave us a bit of anxiety just watching it fall. Let's do it again! Number 1, Just Cause 4 When it comes to blowing shit up, Rico Rodriguez gets the job done, period. There's no finer video game destruction than that found in the Just Cause series, and the fourth entry takes the destruction to absurd levels. Thanks to the customizable tethers and modifications, you can turn enemy strongholds into your own little rocket playground. Or, you can put together a flying tank and experience a ride that is simultaneously serene and hardcore. Or, if you want to see that game at its most destructive, track down its tornado and watch it destroy everything in its path. Is any of this realistic? Not in the slightest. But really, who f***ing cares? Coming. Well, that was very therapeutic. I, for one, feel much less angry now. And you know what else is therapeutic? Watching some more Watch Mojo videos, that's what. 